왜? 왜? Ross, look at me. I'm the captain now. Oh, you I'm are. We should talk about movies. What, what kind of movies? movies? Um, kind of movies are you talking about on Booze Chat movies? 8? Could Booze. talk about the relevant one Booze right now. Chat is it 8? Which is it. it it's I haven't uh, seen it. I haven't seen it yet either. But I, I, watched, I watched the end of it. Also, oh, it's Halloween candy season, y'all. We got some Reese's Pumpkins. They're fucking orange. Uh -huh. There's F-bomb number weird. one that we can't monetize with. Ha ha ha! Damn it. Oh, I'm seriously, we don't get enough views to do that. Right. Look, it's orange and it's melting in my finger. It mm. looks really like healthy. it wants to be white chocolate, but it's not sweet enough. Thank God it's not white chocolate. Um, anyway. So, mm. it. How are we going to talk about a movie that none of us have seen? I don't know. All right, let's talk about another movie. I was going to talk about movies that, like, okay. So, I work a lot. But I had, like, one day last week where I didn't have to go into work until four. And I didn't have anything else to do. So, I'm eating this pumpkin. <laughs> and it stuck in my mouth because it's peanut butter. Oh, my God. Okay, but anyway. I just got to have the entire morning. I to was myself. like, was that part of the movie talk? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, you eating a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm eating a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, rewind. I work a lot. So, I had one day last week where I didn't have to go into work until like 4 p.m., which was excellent. So, I got up at like 10 a.m. and then just like had the rest of the morning and like early afternoon to myself. Mm, and I didn't have to do anything else because usually I'll get up and like still have a bunch of shit to do because I also work freelance. If I'm not at work, I'm at work. And if I'm not <laughs> at work, I'm working. That's how my life is. So mm -hmm. that's um, kind of how mine has been a little bit. Yeah. That's how I try to be. Commissions a little. That's what happens when you do commissions. But anyway, I watched. I got this sweet Ghostbusters 2016 movie Lego set from a level of friend for my birthday. And I finally got a chance to, like, sit down and put it all together with, like, Ecto-1 and all the girls and the bike and all that. And it was super great. And I just popped in Galaxy Quest because I was like, fuck it. I want to watch something that I've seen a million times that I can just have on in the background. And Galaxy Quest still holds up. It's one of my, like, all-time favorites. And so I guess we were talking about movies. What movies do you guys just, like, pop on as, like, a feel-good, like... I'm doing something else, but I want something in the background Miyazaki. that's like a little nostalgic. Yeah. Miyazaki, anything. Spirited Away is my favorite, I think. If I had to pick a Miyazaki movie, mine would be Howl's Moving Castle. Mm -hmm. um, Princess Mononoke is also really good, but Princess Mononoke is a lot heavier. Yeah. Then How's Moving Castle or How's Moving Castle? If like, you want heavy, there's, uh, what is it, Grave of the Fireflies? Nope, don't want heavy. Oh, yeah. Lord. Um, 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 what's the one about the airplane guy? The Wind Rises. Oh, yeah. The Wind Rises. <laughs> that one's really fucking heavy, too. Yeah. That one is, I'm it's not very crying, good. I'm not crying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I usually, I don't know. I like the more fantasy ones, mm -hmm. I guess. Castle Sky, Nausicaa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Nausicaa. Uh, I love the art. Style that one was a good one. Up. I was happy that that was like pencil drawn. Oh my god! Like yeah. that was hand drawn versus digital, like most of them. The one scene. I still really like that. The Compared one scene it. in Mononoke that you could tell was CGI was the part at the towards the beginning where the boar is chasing him, mm -hmm. and it just felt really off. Mm -hmm. Like I think it was like I think that's when he first delved into like. CGI type stuff and I was just like that I'm, I'm not a CGI fan I'm, I'm I mean if it's done fan. right I, I guess who if it's in if it's, yeah if it's in like a full CGI movie maybe but if it's included correctly or like a like a live action movie but hand drawn his, animation is my favorite yeah. to his credit it did look pretty smooth yeah, it's just, it, it felt out of place to me. The only, like, 3D-ish part was, like, the, the ooze, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so, like, even that, like, the fact that I have to question it and the amount of times that I've seen that movie, at least to me, means that it doesn't really stand out that badly. 
Like, it's not, like, a point in the movie where I just, like, immediately remember, like, oh, my God, this was bad. But, like... Uh, I don't think it was For what bad, it was... Just, like, I... <laughs> it was black, gross ooze. It's not, like, the Hydra in uh, Hercules? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> bad. Okay. They were like, CGI, right? CGI. I'm like, wow, this is uh, new. Okay, I know neither of you have probably seen this, but on a whim, because mm-hmm. I've moved in this apartment and I've spent a lot of time here... Um, I got back into the habit of watching, like, binge-watching stuff on Netflix, and one night, like, two weeks ago, at, like, 2 a.m., I wasn't tired, and I didn't have to work until late the next day, I started watching the 1996 version of Spawn. Oh, The movie. Shit. Oh, my God, that... So, Spawn is a comic book character that, at least in the movie, and I can't quote this because I've never actually, like, read the comics, but I really liked the toys way back when... It was popular. I haven't had anything to do with it since then. In the movie, he's he's like a... When he's alive, he's like a an agent that murders people. And then he gets double-crossed and he gets murdered. When he gets murdered, he goes to hell. And the devil basically makes him a superhero so he can charge the gates of heaven. The way that they create hell and then the devil's like 3D model himself is the most trash 3D like <laughs> CGI animation that I've ever seen. Also it is 96, though. It is. Wait, are we talking on a scale? Is it bad for even from... 96? Okay, Jurassic Park came out in 1997, right? Yeah. No. No, 93. 93. Yeah. Okay, so Jurassic Park had this much of a budget and. Spawn had this much of a budget. Oh. So I didn't yeah, make a motion yeah. because I literally cannot even like describe to you like how low the budget I was in Jurassic Spawn. Jurassic Park had CGI, to be honest. It's yeah. shit on I'm Spawn Hour. Nobody remembers. Puppets. Well, like it was the, the Gallimima scene. Exactly, that's the only one that stands out to yeah. me. Like almost everything else was was animatronic. Yeah, but or the, like miniatures. But oh my like God, I, I wish expensive. they would do something. Like that in the next Jurassic World. I was I hoping they would for the first one. That movie, uh. Jurassic Park, holds up so well because everything is real. Yeah. Like, that's why it looks they so good. They can do so much more with hydraulics now, I'm sure. Hell yeah. So but it would look awesome. Now, you're saying that this was bad. Now, on a scale from one to the owl sequence from the beginning of Labyrinth, how bad was it? I think it was worse than that. Oh, God. Oh, my. We'll have to watch it together mm-hmm. and then do a review. We can do a puppet review of that. <gasps> oh God. Oh. I can't even say anything about that yet. I want mine to be a dragon, please. Okay, we can. <laughs> yeah, it has I'll to help. be. Person, so... person, dragon. Done. I mean, that's what we're looking at right now, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, in any case, you mentioned CGI and Jurassic World. It actually kind of upset me. With how realistic they tried to make, like, the raptors look in Jurassic World, and it ended up making them look less realistic. What do you mean? Yeah. They did, they looked far from real to me in Jurassic World. Yeah, they did, but what do you mean they tried to make them look? They tried to make them so, they tried to make them blend in to the natural world so much by giving them all of the texture and the scales and the reflections on the raptors that it just it did not think, seem like they were there. I think they tried something similar with uh, Jurassic Park 3 with mm. the raptors when they suddenly gave them like little feathers on their head. Well I mean that's just kind of like weird in terms of continuity. Yeah. Just like it it hasn't been that long just, since the first movie. In that and in my opinion. I mean so the second movie was just was a, was a second island. And then the third movie was the same island from the first movie. Was it? Right? No. No, I think it was from the second. The The second movie took place mainly in, like, um... It was... I think the T-Rex and the baby initially came from the second island, and they went to, like, what, New York? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, they bring And then the they island. went back, I think... The mm-hmm. third movie... Okay, so I've read the novels. The third movie... Oh, you're right. No, because that's... Dr. Grant is complaining. Yeah. They're like, well, you, you've been here. You've met dinosaurs. And Dr. Grant's like, I've never been to this fucking island. I don't know, man. Why did you bring me here? Well, he also gets, like, conned into going. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, He's like, give me a tour. Because William H. Macy totally has lots of money. And his wife is way too hot for him, even in movie standards. Sorry. I know you're never going to watch this video, but it's true. Speaking of William H. Macy, quick shout out. I watched Mystery Men the other day. Still holds up! (laughs) Anyway. I I don't think I've seen that one. Oh my god, it's so fucking good! It has an all-star cast. William H. Macy, Ben Stiller. By uh, all-star, do you mean, and are you referring to the fact that Smash Mouth's first single that was really popular was a music video for Mystery Men? Yeah. Because it's in... All-star cast! (laughs) (laughs) Ha! Well, that was where they made their debut. The, The song is in the movie. So, Smash Mouth's mad that they became a meme. a meme when both of their most popular tracks, number one, one of them was a cover. What? Yeah. Yes. Which one? I'm a believer. Yeah. For Shrek? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. So, I didn't know that was so popular. They're mad that they're a meme. It's like, hey, guess what? You're more well-liked than Nickelback. But, but yes, they are well liked. I was actually talking to Kevin about this the other day, where like his friends were watching true, it, but... and Smash Mouth came on, and we were like, "Oh my god!" And I was like, "You know, I still unironically like really like this song, and yeah. it's because it's actually good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it gets you going. It gets you going. <laughs> it's danceable. You know, it's it's a feel good. Like, it may, there's nothing shitty about it. Smash yeah. Mouth, you're doing a great job. It's a pee good song." You know what movie I think had the best soundtrack for me? Hmm. It's the Digimon movie. The, the big Dude, one. Dude, yes. Here. Mm-hmm. I it love that movie. It was just ska. And I wasn't like a big ska fan. And I don't think I'm a huge ska fan. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I am. Because that soundtrack is like perfect for me. I have been recording. Oh, we're back. Are we? <laughs> Welcome this back. What? <sighs> this is we? Boost Chat Eight Part Two. You had a sixteen. Dude, I thought I was camera. gonna go home and go to bed. I'm a fucking idiot. And I have to go home and go to work. Oh, we're not continuing this for much longer. It's okay. okay. So we're talking anyway, about Scott. Elbows. So, yeah, we're talking about Scott and how Sam is like one plaid pair of pants away from. <laughs> Being a Sky Princess. Plaid pair? What are plaid pants? Were they plaid? Have you never been into a Hot Topic? I've plaid... Actually, like, pre-2000... I have plaid shirts. I gave all my skinny jeans to Joe Kenner. I mean, who saw that? Please, please stop. I don't have any (laughs) more. Joe Kenner, I love you. Stop wearing skinny jeans. Well... You're built like a linebacker. Please stop. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> He's got tiny legs and a he big got, old chest. He's got little bitty legs and a big old upper torso. He looks like a popsicle. <laughs> he looks like a bomb pop. You just kind of grab Because you're the bomb. bomb. Grab him by the legs and you give him a big old leg. <sighs> Keith's going to be jealous. Too. Nah, whatever. <laughs> Keith probably will be. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Anyway. Looking on a big old Joe-sickle. Joe, Joe-sickle. Um, so I wanted to answer your, like, original question. Yeah. Like, literally, your original theme, your original question for this. You talked about movies. Yeah. That you, like, put on in the background. Yeah. And when you said that, all I could actually think about was, I don't put movies on in the background. I put TV shows. Oh, you do Parks and Rec. I do Parks and Rec, and I finally started watching Scrubs again last night. Ooh. Um, because I was just like, screw it, uh, Hulu has it. And apparently Hulu doesn't do ads anymore or something? Mm. Neat. I don't know. Like, their, their whole menu system looks different. Okay. Like, it's completely revamped. It doesn't look anything like Hulu used to. Not that that has anything to really do with it, but, like... Personally, I think Scrubs is one of the best sitcoms of all time. Agreed. 
That might be a millennial decision. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of old sitcoms. Yeah, and I think they're all shitty. <laughs> wow! That's a good place to end it. Oh, wow. No! Because, no, it is. You because know. that could be like an entire debacle. Yeah, we should be. We should get guest stars that are like... like. Get Seinfeld on here again. Seinfeld, <laughs> all the people from Cheers... All the friends. Um, all I'm the going friends. to get I love Jennifer Sanford. Aniston. I'm calling for you, babe. I'm going to oh get God. Sanford's son because I'm assuming that Sanford original is not alive Isn't to this day. Dead. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah, that, that's well, like an old sitcom. <laughs> is that copyrighted? Probably. Uh, that was a parody. I didn't actually play the song, <laughs> so. So are we? We'll be there for you. Are we done? We got. We we got. Pause. We got. We 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 got. We we got. Pause. We got. We we we.